I think ever, since I was real little, I wanted to make art and have it be like real art. <laughs> I was sort of uh, into just like, is this art? Is this good enough to be art? As a, as a child, you know. And, and at one point I was like, yeah, <laughs> it is. So I got excited and I just kept on making stuff since then. This is the, uh, the Box Art Studio. Um, I've been here for eight years or so. Maybe, maybe longer. No, maybe seven. Around eight years or so. So it's mostly painting. My friends uh, and I do snow sculpture. And so we usually meet in this room and uh, work on, make clay. Clay models of, of what we're going to make later. <laughs> Outside in, this, in the cold. <laughs> Because this is a pretty public art space, um, I haven't really developed any ritual. I mean, it would probably do my work pretty well if I did, but because I'm sharing with people, I don't always have the personal space to just like go somewhere spiritual or something because people are yelling <laughs> and playing music or whatever. And as far as feeling in the mood, that's kind of what life is, is, you know, whatever mood you're in, you just kind of have to, I guess, yeah, just kind of work on it anyway, you know, and that's what the painting is. I like having company, I like having uh, a community of people that are doing other things that I wouldn't be doing, and it's interesting and it's inspiring, so, so I appreciate the community aspect of it. And, I wouldn't give it up for a place with more solitude. Maybe to have both would be really nice. <laughs> I feel like landscapes and still lives are, uh, there's a bit more of a, um, a goal um, for me when I, when I approach it. Maybe it's because I really like doing this and I do the other stuff. Um, mostly just to satisfy uh, some sort of need for conformity or something. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, I can paint what I see, you know. And that's that's kind of what doing landscapes and still lifes is, is like looking, okay, I have this vision of something, I'm gonna make it. Depending on what kind of work I'm doing, if I'm working on something abstract like this, it's very, um, I mean, sort of like free form writing, you know, where you just write whatever. Um, it sort of starts out kind of like that, but rather than the language being like a combobulation of words, it's the language is, you know, uh, brushstroke, what direction, what color, how dark, what uh, expression. So in and itself is a language, and it's, and it's an obs abstract, obscure language, so it's, it's, it's pretty easy to be freeform. Uh, free consciousness with it because you put something down and then it's and it's like oh well what what kind of other shape or brush stroke or color or pattern you know um, light you know uh, it's running out of <laughs> that's, that's probably enough of things that that can talk to the first thing so you have something and you, you want to put something close to it and then you have, and then you have two things, and so you have this, and then you add a third thing, and and that changes it. And every time you add something, it changes the whole thing. Um, so engaging with it can sometimes be just looking at it for an hour. You know, sometimes you stop paying attention. <laughs>